the help of this next gentleman, Senator Kevin Parker. Yeah. New York Jones. Good afternoon. I'm State Senator Kevin Parker. I represent the 21st Senate District in Brooklyn, Flatbush, East Flatbush, Midwood, Dippers Park, Kensington, and Ball Park. And I'm here to add my voice to the chorus of organizations who are here today to tell the mayor that his despotic rule over education in the city has to come to an end. Yeah. We're here to issue a report card to the mayor on education. And on education, we are giving him an F. On democracy, we're giving him an F. Yeah. On ability to work well with others, we're giving him an F. Yeah. On, you know, in two, for, since 2002, when the legislature made this mayor the most powerful big city mayor as it relates to education in the entire country. He has done nothing but use his despotic rule to hold people out of the process instead of bringing people together. That's right. This is a man who said that he was for transparency. He said that he was for term limits. He said that he was for reform. He said he wanted to make himself the education mayor. And on every single thing that he's tried to do, he has been a failure. Yes, he has. Test scores are down. Graduation rates are down or flat. He has not he has not done anything, particularly in black and Latino communities and high needs districts. All he's done is pitted high performance schools against low performance schools. Even when he got more money in the state than was ever given to the city for education, he came back the following day and said, I'm gonna cut the budget of the schools. And when he, when he got into tough times, after he raised property taxes, after he taxed everything he could, after he raised fees, after he turned our traffic agents into tax collectors, what he told us he's going to do is cut the education budget. Not here and not now, Mr. Mayor, that you will no longer bully us into submission. In 2009, the state legislature is going to have an opportunity to take up once again the issue of school, school governance. And I can tell you now, that I personally will not be voting on anything that does not dramatically change the way that we are doing business currently in our schools. That we must have transparency. We must have participation by parents and by community members. We must have young people as part of the process of educating themselves. We cannot afford to disinvest in our future. This is all about, you know, if we want to bail out banks and we want to bail out the auto industry and that's nice, who's going to bail out our schools? That's right. So we are here today to make sure that the message is sent out clear that there are plenty of people across this city who are ready to see education change. And we're not going to stop until those changes are made. On Tuesday, we've been asked to cut $2 billion out of the budget. The governor has unfortunately asked us to cut $1.4 billion out of education. We're going to keep the promise, and that money is not coming out of education. No way, no how. I respect the governor, and I think that he's doing the right thing by balancing the budget, but once again, we cannot continue to balance the budget on the backs of our community, and certainly not on the backs of our children. This is just the beginning of the fight. We have never lost the fight that we have engaged in, and we're not going to lose this one today. Yeah.